Okay, so the other day I went up into the loft and found all my 12 inch figures out and uh, managed to find my original Spike, which is still boxed, and my original Buffy, which isn't sadly. Um, so let's have a look at Buffy first. Pretty good likeness to Sarah Michelle Geller. Looks good from the front on. Quite heavy uh, paint and app on it, but very nice. Very poseable figures, these. Uh, Moulded on shoes, which I quite like because if you make moulded on feet and then put boots on, especially in this scale, making slim boots is quite difficult and then you lose posability. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I don't know whether this is an outfit particularly well known from uh, when she was on television. But she sort of comes in a little t-shirt and a black jacket. Just take the jacket off. Take the jacket off so you can see quite well jointed. Got double elbow joints so she can move quite well on that. So it's stiff, that should double joint there. Um, she's got a torso joint just there under her bust, which means she can bend forward, waist, and the normal leg one. So yeah, really nice figure. Um, I haven't got a box, I don't know what I did with the box for that one. But then this one, this is Human Face Spike. Uh, I always intended to get this signed by James Masters, uh, but then couldn't be asked to cut it round conventions. So you can see I paid $29.99 for Forbidden Planet for this one. I think they're a bit more than this now. I think this is the rare one. Um, let's have a look at the box. James Masters is Spike. And then it gives a little biography of James Masters. With some various photos of the figure, which as you can see is a great likeness. And the actor. And then it comes in a so a gatefold sleeve box. You get the flap with again more pictures. Laundry day spike there. I maybe loves bitch, but at least I'm man enough to admit it. That's our spike. So let me get him out and we'll have a look. Okay, so you get a cross and a dagger, and a dagger fits in the top of the cross. You get a little wooden stake. Bizarrely. Uh, nice thing about these sideshow figures is you get a nice stand with a wire harness, so because they they do tend to fall over quite easily. But this is Spike. So again, great likeness. His ears are quite dark for some reason. Uh, and he comes in his trademark trench coat, which is really well made. And he comes with his red shirt. Black t-shirt, black trousers, and his dispatch riders boots. Um, again, I've got this costume upstairs somewhere. At one point, more people knew me by the name Spike than knew me by uh, my own real name. This version didn't come with human hands, it came with gloved hands. I should say with flesh-coloured hands, uh, which I quite like. I do have some spare hands kicking about somewhere, so I used to display them with and without it. I like the fact they've even done buttonholes even though it doesn't uh, do up. Great poseable body. Um, it's the normal sideshow body, which means it's a little bit spindly, but because he's got the big bulky coat on, it looks really good. Um, the Angel one, which I used to have, doesn't look quite as good because he uh, is quite a bulky man. And uh, this thin body they put these figures on just doesn't suit it. But yeah, so if you so I'll compare his face, he's not going to stand up, so they make a very convincing couple. They were great sculpts on these. Um, I wish I'd have picked up the whole set, but I just couldn't get away to store these things, so I used to just pick up the odd one if I wanted to get it signed. Might get them out on display again. I don't know what these go for now, I think they're quite expensive. Last time I looked they were well over 100 quid. To try and buy a boxed one. 
You got this uh, scar. But yeah, nice pair of figures. I'm glad I kept them. I haven't kept much of my Buffy and Spike stuff, but uh, I'm glad I kept this. If you want to see more uh, Buffy Moomin really videos, then let me know and I'll see what I can dig out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Please like and subscribe. Thanks then. Bye.